the double chin, it has to go. Like, the chin has to go. Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Divine and welcome to my channel. So, I basically just wanted to come and talk to you guys about what I have going on. As you see from the title, I am going to be getting lipo done in Dominican Republic. Um, this is a decision that I've made like three months ago. I've done my research, I've got everything together. I did what I needed to do behind the scenes. I've decided to actually vlog the whole process, which is something so foreign to me. Like anybody who knows me knows that I'm such a private person. I definitely value um, my privacy. Uh, this is my first time ever doing a vlog. Um, this is going to be some raw, uncut footage. <laughs> um, but I'm like, at the end of the day, it's 2022. The girls want to know what's going on. And also, um, I'm trying new things. Like, I'm trying new things. I want to be a little bit more open, a little bit more transparent. And so, yeah, this is just a start for me. I'm excited about that. Subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you can be updated when I post new videos and new content because I do plan on being active on this channel. So you can also follow me on my other socials like Instagram and TikTok, and I'll have the links to those listed below. So if you guys have any questions or stuff like that, um, just feel free to hit me up via Instagram, DM, or leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, what made me want to get the light bulb? Well, I'm going to say this. First of all, Everybody, like, has their own choice. Everybody lives their own life. Everybody makes their own choices. Everybody has their own free will. And me personally, I opted to go for surgery. And the main thing for me is um, this chin. It's the chin for me. The double chin, it has to go. Like, the chin has to go. I'm over it. <laughs> so as well as um, a couple other things that I want to get um, touched up. And like I said, I opted to go for liposuction. Now, of course, I'm to each his own. I'm not promoting um, liposuction or surgery. Um, I definitely recommend that if this is something that you're thinking about or considering, do your research, do your research, do your research before you um, make your decision. The research is gonna help you to make come to a, a decision that's gonna be best for you in your situation. So I will say that. Other than that, um, I think I pretty much covered everything as far as like what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and um, where I'm going to do it at. Yes, you guys, I'm so excited. Um, half excited, half nervous. But ultimately, I'm ready to get this weight up off me so I can just have a clean slate and do what I need to do moving forward. Definitely gonna have to make some lifestyle changes and I'm so excited about bringing you guys along with me on this process because um, I'm definitely going through a transformation at this time. And yeah, it'll be cool to have this along as I go along my journey to go back and 
see where I started out at. So yes, I'm so excited, you guys. Like I said earlier, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all my new posts. But all right, you guys, I don't want to ramble on too much. I just wanted to give a quick description of what's going on. And yeah, talk to y'all later. Hey, you guys, what's up? So it's currently about 8 a.m. And I'm headed to the airport. So yeah, my flight leaves around 10, 10, 15. So I'm actually gonna get there a little bit early. Well, I'm actually getting there on time because y'all know how Atlanta airport is, so. Yeah, I'm excited and um, I will check in back with you guys later. Hey y'all, what's up? So I finally made it to Santo Domingo. I finally made it to my destination, to my recovery house where I'm gonna be staying at while I'm here. Um, I will probably give you guys a tour um, later, but for right now, I'm not gonna do that because I just got here and I kinda wanna get settled in and fill it out a little bit. Um, I'm starving. I just got off the plane. I need to find me something to eat. But yeah, for the most part, everything was like um, pretty smooth sailing. Like um, customs wasn't really a big hassle. So yeah, I uh, I gotta do my labs and stuff in the morning. So I just plan on getting settled in right now. And um, yeah. I mean, if you ever been to Dominican Republic, then you already know this is the vibes. Like, this is not the resort tourism thing that you get when you going on vacation. This is like, um, this is it. This is the vibes. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty hot out here. It's like 80 something degrees, so it feels good, but it's a little, um, I mean, it's a nice breeze, but it's hot. So, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and do a quick update on what's going on. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. That's what I want. You're recording. Okay. So the girls. So we're just giving Aubrey. So it's our first day in the trap house. <laughs> <laughs> it's our first day in the trap house, and you know it's giving very much. When we come home, we fresh out the boat, baby. <laughs> Niggas ain't fucking with us. <laughs> so you know, yeah, that's it. That's what it's giving. 
Thanksgiving. So check back in with you guys later. Later. Hey you guys, what's up? So it's about eight in the morning the next day. Um and I'm waiting on my driver to pick me up so I can go do my laps. I'm a little tired. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was trying to get comfortable last night and it's like I don't know, I guess being so far away from home, knowing that I'm about to undergo this um, whole procedure and everything, like I was trying to get comfortable. I couldn't get like comfortable for real. Like I kept waking up in the middle of the night. And so, yeah, so I wasn't able to eat breakfast this morning because I have to do my labs on an empty stomach. So that's cool. Um, so far, it's been okay here. Um, it's a couple things that um, I don't like. It's a couple things. Overall, for the most part, it's okay. The staff is really nice. Um, so yeah, um, I guess I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Um, keep you updated and let you know what's going on. Hey you guys, what's up? So I just wanted to come and do a quick check in with you guys. Um, so it's currently about 10.30 p.m. Um, it is the night before my surgery, so I have surgery tomorrow morning. Um, yeah. I'm not even nervous. I'm just tired. It has been a long day. Like, I had to do labs. I had to run around and get, um, like, a couple supplies that I needed. Um, but, yeah, it was just a long day. I had so much to do. Um, but, yeah, so I have surgery in the morning. I can't eat or drink anything else for the night, which is crazy because I'm so thirsty right now. And I really want a bottle of water so bad, but I'm going to follow instructions and not have anything to drink. Um, cause I'm, when I tell you I'm so thirsty, like I wish I could just have some water right now. And I've, I've been drinking water, water, water all day, but I guess like the fact that I can't have any right now. And plus I just got out the shower, the fact that I can't have any. Maybe that's why I want some so bad. I don't know. But yeah. Um, right now, how I feel, I'm not even too much nervous. I'm just kind of just ready to get it over with at this point. I'm more so restless at this point. I'm just anticipating what type of pain I'm going to be in and just ready to kind of like get get away like but yeah so i have my bag packed and ready for um the hospital in the morning my driver is going to be here at five so i can be there at 5 30. so i'm really going to get up at like 4 30 because i have to take one more shower um in the hippie cleanse per doctor's orders so I will be getting up early tomorrow morning to do that. Yeah, um, I'm, I haven't decided if I'm going to bring my camera to the hospital with me or not yet. But um, so that's what's tea. That's what's going on. Yeah, you guys, like I'm just like I said, I'm just ready to get the hard part over with and I feel like the hardest part is going in laying on that table and coming out off that anesthesia like that's to me that's the hardest part like the recovery I can deal with that I can deal with that like but yeah
And I'm about to get ready to go to bed, y'all. I'm so tired. Like I said, it's been a long day. Um, and I got a long day ahead of me. I have to be up at the crock of dawn with the roosters. Yeah, so like I said, I just wanted to do a quick check-in with you guys. So, this is probably going to be my last um, pre-op vlog. I will check back in with you guys later. Post up. 24 hours later. Hey, you guys. <clears throat> What's up? So, I'm currently day one post op. I had my surgery yesterday. And um, I didn't vlog because. I had to spend the night at the hospital, um, and I just got discharged this afternoon. So this is officially like one day post-op, <clears throat> and my voice is like really raspy right now um, because the anesthesia tore my throat up, and also my lip is busted. I don't know if you can see or not, but my lip is busted from the anesthesia and also um, from the anesthesia pump that they put in your mouth, the breathing tube thing. And um, it really tore my throat up too. So I've just been taking it easy. Like, um, like I said, it's officially day one post-op. I'm so swollen. Um, everything went great though. My doctor said everything went great. And everything's looking good. Mine is like me being so swollen. And you can even tell my face is super swollen. Like, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update. Um, I'm going to just take my medications and rest. Because, um, I'm feeling a little bit weak. And holding this camera up is hurting my arms. So, yeah. Check back in with y'all later. Hey you guys, what's up? So today is officially day three post-op. And let me see, hold on, let me stand up. Okay, it's officially day three post-op. And I'm feeling better than I did the last two days. <laughs> So yesterday I did the oxygen chamber and um, got two massages. So I got one in the morning, um, did the oxygen chamber, and then before I went to bed I got another massage. So that was amazing. That made me feel so much better. 
um because i have a lot of like swelling and inflammation like i literally blew up you guys so i'm trying to just like get the swelling to go down and get my massages and compress but um <clears throat> I'm bruised really, really bad. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm bruised so bad and I'm so swollen. But yeah, today is day three post-op. So I went and got a massage. I have to go pick up one more prescription. It's one more prescription that I need to go pick up um, that my doctor prescribed me for, like I said, for the, for the inflammation. And I need to go to the store and get a couple things. Like, I need a razor so I can shave my underarms and just stuff like that. So, yeah. I guess I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. But, yes, this is day three. Oh, stop. Day three. Oh, my gosh. I cannot fucking sleep. It's like 3.30 in the morning. I cannot sleep. I'm so fucking uncomfortable. I gotta wear this fucking tight ass face faha for my chin. And like I'm just so fucking uncomfortable. I cannot sleep. I done took melatonin. Like I've been on my phone for hours just scrolling, scrolling. I cannot sleep. I'm so irritated i'm so uncomfortable i'm so ready for this to be over like i just want to get better oh my gosh <laughs> hey y'all what's up today is monday it is officially six days post-op and I feel so much better. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. I look so much better. Like I haven't even been able to vlog um, the last couple days because I just been feeling so shitty. I was so swollen, you guys. Like I felt sick. I just, it was hard for me. I had to like force myself to eat. Um, I was so swollen and had so much inflammation in my body. Um, it really took a toll on me physically and also emotionally. Like, I really kind of almost, I ain't even gonna say kind of almost, I really broke down. Like, um, I just had to like get my mind right and actually take a couple days to actually heal so yeah i know a lot of people talk about the process when they come to get um surgery about like the healing process the physical process but it's definitely also a very mental and emotional thing as well it takes a mental and emotional toll on you as well not just physically especially when you have to um like trust the process and you're feeling so shitty and it's like you're gonna look and feel worse before you look and feel better that's the thing with um that's the thing with liposuction or at least coming out here to dominican republic anyway to get it like you're gonna look and feel worse before you look and feel better so yeah, I just finished getting a massage. I'm going to bathe, get dressed, and go to the Faha store. Um, I need more compression. The, um, the one that I've been wearing, I'm already on the third hook and it's loose. So that's amazing because that means a lot of my swelling has went down. And so I need um, tighter compression. So I'm going to the store to go cop me a new faha okay but yeah the bruising has went down tremendously i still have the dissolvable stitches and stuff 
um and i'm still bruised on my arms but it has went down so much and yes i will check back in with you guys later hey you guys what's up so today is officially day eight post-op i had surgery last tuesday today is wednesday and it is time for me to get the fuck on i'm so excited my flight leaves um at one it's currently 8 30 a.m i just finished getting my last massage i am about to shower and eat some breakfast and get ready to go i'm so ready to go home y'all i have been in dr for how many days like two weeks and so i'm ready to go i'm ready to go home i'm ready to get my own bed I'm ready to get my own shower. I'm ready to wash my own clothes with my own laundry detergent and everything. Like, I feel so good. The bruising has went down substantially. The swelling has went down substantially. I'm still very much swollen, very much inflammation. Um, and that's just a normal part of having um, liposuction. Like, you're going to swell up um and the body takes a while for it to heal back to its natural state so yeah girl like ready to go i'm so excited like um i had a good stay they took a very very good care of me from my doctor down to the nurses like they put extra special care into me i can't say that um they definitely favored me they definitely took very, very, very good care of me. Um, extra, extra good care. Like I said, everybody definitely went the extra mile for me. I can say that. I, I do feel um, really good about my uh, recovery experience here in DR. I'm just ready to go home, baby. My lips so dry. Mm. I'm so excited to be going home, you guys. Like... So, yeah, um, I will be updating you guys um, on way more details. Yeah, I'll be updating you guys on way more details. Um, you'll have to tap into the next vlog for all that. So, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the comment section with any questions that you may have. Follow me on my other social media platforms on Instagram at you love divine and uh, yeah, hit the notification bell so you can um, be notified when I do my new posts. So yes, thank you so much for tuning in you guys and catch you on the next vlog.